What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at two really awesome products, both from a company called Waysafe. Waysafe produces several different types of hitches and among those are the aluminum version of their Waysafe hitch, which has the scale built in, and now the brand new steel version of the Waysafe hitch with the scale built in. And I'm gonna go over the differences between these two hitches, I'll be right back. All right guys, so right off the bat, the biggest difference between the two is that one is steel and one is aluminum. The aluminum hitch weighs significantly less than the steel hitch. Why would you get one over the other? Generally, it comes down to personal preference. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this aluminum hitch. This is a very, very nice product. It is a hair bulkier than the steel version of it. What I like about them both is that they will give you the payload and the overall towing capacity you need for just about every size of trailer you might be towing that doesn't require weight distribution. What's also nice is that Waysafe now has a weight distribution product. I think it's just coming out on the market. I know it was revealed at SEMA, which will give you the ability to have a Waysafe hitch with the scale on a weight distribution setup with sway control. So if you've been looking for this type of hitch that you can use with your RV, especially if you're gonna be towing it with a half ton, a three quarter ton truck, or something comparable that is gonna really need that weight distribution and sway control setup, the new hitch from Waysafe with the weight distribution as well as the sway control arms and the scale built in might be for you. Now, there are a lot of things to like about these hitches. First of all, they're both adjustable. You have the ability to slide the scale portion and the ball portion up and down on these hitches to determine the different height you might need for different types of trailer tongues. And this is gonna help you level out the trailer better with the truck. They come in multiple different adjustment heights. The shank portion, or this portion right here, you can get in a much longer or even a shorter variation. This is nice because it gives you the flexibility of using these on all types of different trucks. Something else that's really nice on this specific hitch that unfortunately because of the three inch shank on the aluminum hitch won't support is flipping this assembly over when you're not using it. So you don't have this portion of it sticking out. You have the ability to take this piece right here put it backwards on here and kind of get it out of the way. Similar to like my BMW tow and stow setup. The really nice convenient piece about Waysafe is that they have this single locking mechanism. Once you remove this lock, it takes both pins out and it's essentially one motion. I absolutely love my BMW tow and stow, but sometimes fussing with removing pins, flipping things around, reinserting the pins and then putting the clips in the end can be a bit of a pain. This one gives you a nice single locking mechanism to make all your adjustments, which I do really like. Now, from a weight perspective, this hitch is considerably heavier than the aluminum. And that's one thing to keep in mind. Whenever people generally make the shift to an aluminum hitch, they're doing it because of the weight of the hitch itself. If you're gonna remove this thing a lot, throw it in a lot, that's something you might be concerned about. If you just wanna leave it in your truck, put a nice locking hitch pin in place, then the steel hitch might be something you like. There are people that just prefer steel over aluminum or aluminum over steel. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other, because quite frankly, it just comes down to personal preference. Now, this specific hitch, the steel hitch, has a weight rating, I believe, of, and it will be printed on here somewhere. Yep, on the bottom here. This has a maximum trailer weight rating of 18,500 pounds. It has a maximum tongue weight of 2,200 pounds. The aluminum version, which some people might think would be less because it's aluminum, actually exceeds that. So if I flip this over, this one has a maximum trailer weight of 21,000 pounds. So it's significantly higher than the steel version. It also has a maximum tongue weight of 2,200 pounds. Now, part of the reason why the aluminum hitch has a higher trailer weight is because it utilizes the three inch shank. So this specific part will only function with trucks that have a three inch opening in the receiver. And I believe right now in the light duty truck market, Ford is the only one that puts a three inch receiver on certain models of their higher 
payload higher rated F-350, F-450 pickup trucks. That being said though, one thing that's really interesting to note is the use of much thicker steel than just about any type of hitch I've seen on a pickup truck. This is really crazy. This looks to be 3 8 inch thick steel and it is absolutely a tank. This thing is really, really a beefy setup. The welds are impeccable. I mean, it has some phenomenal welds around it and the quality of the hitch is absolutely there. It's just very heavy. And that's the thing you're gonna have to keep in mind with a hitch like this. Now, both of them are very similar to set up, but since we're gonna take a look at the steel version of it, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pop the lock off of it real quick. I'm gonna show you kind of how it works to change out the ball. So the pin's out. Now you have the ability to slide the ball assembly out. And if you wanna change from this two and five sixteenths inch ball to a two inch ball, all you would simply do is pop this little pin out the bottom like that, and then the ball pops right out. Reinsert that in, throw the pin back in place with whatever ball you plan on using, and then there you go. So then all it takes at this point is to slide the ball back over this drop shank, find the right setting or the right height you want to be at, drop it back in, turn the key, make sure it's locked in place, and you're good to go. And the way they kind of advise you to do it is turn it like a small distance with the key and then try to remove it. And if it doesn't remove, then you know you're locked in place. So that's really cool. This is an awesome setup. I like the fact that this portion of it, this steel right here is a little bit thinner than the aluminum because it doesn't have to be quite as thick because of course steel is technically a bit of a stronger product. That being said, the setup of this, the look of this, I'm really, really fond of the black setup here. I really like how this entire setup looks. And I believe, according to their website now, that the scale actually comes with a lifetime warranty. So that's also really nice. I like the fact that they give you this little rubber boot to protect the locking mechanism. And this is just a very, very cool setup. So if you're gonna be hauling almost any type of trailer around from an RV to a dump trailer, knowing how much weight is positioned over the back of your truck, a cargo trailer, if you have a cargo trailer that you haul a car in, when you pull the car inside, you wanna know how much weight you're transferring to the back of your truck. And both of these hitches are gonna provide you that capability of knowing. They're both gonna give you a readout to let you know specifically how much weight you're transferring to the back of your truck, and that is awesome. With dump trailers, it's probably more important than anything simply because the axles on a dump trailer tend to be positioned more towards the back, which means if you front load a dump trailer, you're gonna be adding considerably more weight to the back of a truck. If you pull a bobcat or something inside, you're talking five, six, 7,000 pounds or more worth of equipment that could easily transfer that weight to the back of your pickup truck and you could potentially damage your trailer, your truck, your hitch. You could do a lot of bad things. So having a scale on board is definitely useful. This and my B&W Tow and Stow are my two go-to hitches. I absolutely love them both. I use them all the time and I really love the fact that I have the scale built into the Waysafe hitch. That's the big advantage this has over any other hitch on the market. Now that I have the new steel version, I'm going to be testing this one and I'm really excited to get the dump trailer hooked up behind the truck so we can specifically see how that load transfers weight to the truck whenever you load it from the front, from the back, whenever you put a piece of equipment inside, and under different types of environments. So next video, we're gonna put this thing to the test and we're gonna see what this scale shows in terms of weight transfer, where that weight's positioned, how it's positioned, and how it affects the payload of the truck. Now to install the hitch, first thing I need to do is put my reducer back in. I had my B&W Tow and Stow in here, which is a three inch opening. This is a two and a half inch. Came with the truck, just throw that inside. Next, we are gonna throw this incredibly heavy receiver in. There we go. Drop it back to the furthest position. One thing that I really like is that the locking pin, as well as the key on the side of the little coupler release here are keyed the same, so I don't have to carry more than one key around. I can throw this pin back inside. Feed that all the way through. There we go, we are all locked up. Looks really nice, ready to go. And it definitely doesn't stick out as far as the aluminum version of it, which I also really like. 
But that is one clean install. And I love the black powder coated finish on it because it just matches my setup so much better. Anyways guys, I will put a link in the description of this video if this is something you're interested in. We're gonna hitch up the dump trailer, load it up with weight from the front, from the back, try to move weight around on the inside, and we're gonna see how this thing works. So hang tight for that video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.